Hello, Gemini. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. Now, this is your weekly tarot reading for July 24th through the 30th, 2023. And if you already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much and welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Mystic Door family. And consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up to help support the channel. So Gemini, take what resonates, leave the rest, and let's just jump into your reading. First card, Major Arcana card, The Fool. The Queen of Pentacles. Major Arcana card, The Sun. It is Leo season. And the Ace of Cups. Crystal for the week, Moldavite. Fortune, Oracle message for the week, if I can get it. Dragonfly. And your Angel Answer card. Peaceful Resolution. All right. Gemini, you got a week coming. Very peaceful, tranquil kind of energy. Uh, really getting into your spiritual side this week. I do pick up there is some healing energy here as well. Might not be you specifically, but it might be uh, either individuals or circumstances around you where there's this healing energy. I do feel that, um, you know, with us now being in Leo season, which not only affects Leo, it affects everyone. It is a time for manifesting what you want in your life. And I feel there's... Um, like a lot of love and happiness surrounding you at this time. So looking at your first card here, you have the Major Arcana card, The Fool. It is the anchor card for your reading. So possibly you have some kind of new project or some new endeavor, a new desire, um, possibly like uh, maybe taking a new class, something that's capturing your attention, your interest at this time. Uh, could be that something has run its course and come to an end and now you're replacing it with something new. So definitely could be um, like something you have an interest in, maybe a new hobby, something of that sort, or taking up like a new type of exercise or a new sport. Something of that nature is what I'm picking up, Gemini. So basically the fool is it's it's more it's it's not like a new journey so to speak but a new interest um a new hobby a new project where you're not giving it too much thought you're just kind of going with the flow so let's clarify the full card i do feel that this energy is replacing something that has ended could have been like a class that finished up anything that uh like has like run its course so to speak and you have the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, there's a new opportunity here that you definitely um, uh, have to bring to fruition. You need to manifest it. And with it being Pentacles, it certainly can be in regards to your health and well-being. Um, I do see some of you actually taking up some kind of new sport, something that maybe you were interested in but never had the time for is what I'm picking up. So it's... Um, it's more an interest, um, a project, a hobby, something of that nature. Something that maybe you're only able to do at this time of year in the summer. So really interesting there that your tea light went out just as I was saying that, um, you know, you're, it's something is replacing something that has run its course. Your tea light candle had run its course. It went out. So that's kind of a sign there. So let's see what else for the full card here. The Queen of Pentacles, which uh, we already have in your reading. It's something that's going to help ground you, keep you centered. So definitely can fall into the category of some type of physical exercise. Something that you're physically doing could be in regards to a group, an organization, a charity. It definitely could be like joining um, some sort of sport, maybe getting on a team. 
it's a short duration of time. It's not something that's long term. So something that's very simplistic that you might be taking advantage of um, this week. Now, next, you do have the Queen of Pentacles. And definitely, I'm just picking up that you're trying to, uh, might be something related to getting some extra exercise. So I definitely see sports, something that's summer related, uh, like water skiing, boating, things of that nature, um, swimming. Something that you can't do at other times of the year. And this is really getting uh, like all that pent up kind of energy out because it's something physical. So definitely seeing something that's helping you get grounded, centered, and balanced. Um, Queen of Pentacles can also be a Capricorn individual around you that could possibly be someone new you might meet. It could be in regards to whatever this is that you're undertaking, you know, a new interest, joining a new group, a new sport, some kind of new exercise. So um, kind of like a new activity that you're involved with. And again, you know, short term, it's just for the summer. So Queen of Pentacles could represent a Capricorn, an earth sign that is either the instructor or someone else taking the class, someone you meet, Someone that has, um, you know, like-minded. You have a lot in common with this person. Uh, can also be a Capricorn friend. Is the one that gets you into this group activity. Suggests it to you. So let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. But it is good for your health and well-being. It's definitely more exertion. So that um, I keep getting the pent-up energy. You're releasing it. The King of Cups. Possibly, uh, whatever this is, whatever this, um, the full card uh, represents to you, whatever you're getting involved with, you might have been a little bit apprehensive. So with the King of Cups, you're kind of uh, keeping how you feel about it inside. You're, you're giving it a chance is what I'm picking up. So could be something that you know you're definitely not used to doing. Again, I'm picking up something that really um, has to do with uh, summertime and maybe not at other times of the year. So uh, yeah, like a good example would be if you've never water skied before, you might be doing that and you're a little bit apprehensive about it. And it certainly could be that... Um, you know, like a, a Capricorn around you is the one that is suggesting this activity or kind of like getting you interested in it. So let's see what else for this Queen of Pentacles. Oh, beautiful. Ten of Cups. Kind of just like fun for all. Whatever this is that you're getting involved with. Um, bringing in a lot of childlike fun and laughter. You might be a little bit scared, a little bit apprehensive. So definitely can be maybe an activity you haven't done since you were a kid is what I'm picking up for some of you. But it's all good energy. Just enjoying yourself is what I see for the week ahead. And certainly... You have the Major Arcana card, the Sun. Definitely, definitely, you know, with the Sun card here, doing something you haven't done since you were a kid. Some kind of activity function. And for some of you, wow, I'm like really picking up uh, like a carnival, going to a carnival. Maybe you're taking your own kids or grandkids. You're involved in something uh, like something that children like to do. So definitely can be going to a fair, going to a carnival, you know, possibly riding a roller coaster. That would certainly bring about, um, you know, the king of cups where you're holding your emotions inside, how it's making you feel, kind of holding your breath while you're taking the ride. So I am picking up a lot of fun, a lot of laughter, being around family, birthday parties, just having a lot of summertime fun. Now, we do have the 19 energy, which reduces to 10. I do feel it's been a long time since you've done this uh, activity, whatever it may be. And yes, there is a presence of younger people, children possibly around you. So again, it could be your own children. It could be grandchildren, maybe going to the zoo, things of that nature that you typically do in the warmer summer months. And just simply having 
a great time. So let's clarify, even though we don't uh, need to, let's clarify the Sun card. The Two of Wands. Kind of at a crossroads. Could be in regards to plans you want to make or activities you want to do. Um, trying to make a decision because you have several options. So definitely um, can be maybe planning a vacation, maybe a quick getaway, or even uh, a one-day trip. But I'm definitely picking up a lot of sun and fun. Let's see what else. And we have the Page of Swords. Some kind of message or information coming into you certainly might prompt you like um, a last minute trip, whatever it may be, whether it's a one day trip or something you do for the afternoon, you're being included in something. So it is something that maybe you're finding out at the last minute that you're going to indeed take advantage of something that certainly falls into, um, you know, having some fun category. Last card here is the Ace of Cups. This is your overall energy for the week. And that's why I said you're going to have a good week. This is an overflowing cup of love and happiness and harmony, being with family and friends, just having a good time, being on vacation. I see all of that here with your cards where you're taking some time out this week to enjoy the warmer weather. So... There's this opportunity like all week long for you to either take a day off or plan a vacation or plan a one day trip, whatever it may be, something that you enjoy, something that maybe you haven't done in a long time. And the Ace of Cups is that opportunity all week long for you to have a great time. So let's pull some clarifying cards for this. Three of Pentacles. Okay, it might be something where, um, you know, Three of Pentacles usually represents teamwork. So it could be putting something together, maybe some plans. It could be getting like a group together. That could be family, friends. It could be neighbors, something of that sort this week. And you are really standing out, Gemini. You could really be enjoying yourself more than you ever realized. And people are noticing that. They've never seen you so happy. So I really love the cards and energy that are coming through this week. It is just a win-win week for you. So let's see what else with this Ace of Cups. Very nice reading. The Knight of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> well... This is clarifying, this wonderful Ace of Cups energy. This is opportunity for having fun, being uh, happy, enjoying yourself. And the Knight of Wands does represent like an energy of coming in very quickly, possibly a last minute, hey, let's go do this activity, let's go to the fair, let's go to the zoo, something of that sort. Because it is some kind of activity that you don't normally do that possibly these plans are being made like at the very last moment. And with the Knight of Wands, it is Sagittarius's card in energy. So it certainly could be either Capricorn or Sagittarius um, that, you know, spur of the moment planning an activity and you're included and you're going to have a great time, Gemini. All right. Crystal for the week. Moldavite. And it does say unconventi an unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. And it's okay to feel and be different from others. What I'm picking up, uh, why this particular crystal card came out, is I do see you doing something that you normally don't do. And it's really um, not so much that you're trying to fit in. You're just joining in with the activity. So I was picking up here with your cards that you're doing some kind of activity that maybe you haven't done since you were a kid. Somebody's kind of coaxing you, come on, come on. And so the Moldavite uh, crystal card, that's in regards to maybe memories from when you were a kid where you were trying to fit in with the cool group, so to speak. It's about that you are very unique, very different, 
where you might have felt excluded, very different from others. But in this case, I feel it's in regards to something you haven't done in a long time. And someone's kind of enticing you to give it a try. And I think you should, as long as it is safe for you at this time, Gemini. Now, your fortune, your oracle message is dragonfly. And it says, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Now, dragonfly is a very transparent creature. So it's kind of like just really putting yourself out there this week, having fun. It's in regards to your connection to spirit, having great joy. We do really see that here with your Ace of Cups, your overall energy for the week. There's renewal. Um, there's a bit of uh, healing energy with this card. And it's either people around you um, possibly going on uh, this activity, whatever it may be, uh, just forgetting about some things. Um, somebody might be just pulling you away from work, um, pulling you away from something that you, you've been worried over, just going out and having a great time, which in essence is then recharging your batteries, renewing your soul, so to speak. And I do like the number eight on the Dragonfly card because that is abundance. And that's what I see a lot of. Love and happiness and good times this week. Could also be with the Dragonfly message here. It does represent adaptability. It can be very helpful, um, the dragonfly spirit to call upon if you're feeling stuck, if you feel you have to make a decision. But in this case, the message here is to know when to take a break to avoid burnout. So enjoying life to the fullest. And that is exactly, you know, what your cards are indicating is happening this week. And somebody here, whether it is a Capricorn or a Sagittarian, is kind of enticing you, maybe inviting you something to something like the last minute where you just drop everything and you go Gemini. All right. Last message here is your angel answer message. You have peaceful resolution. This is in regards to any challenges that you might be experiencing. They're going to come to an end. And your cards are indicating, if you're following through on what your cards are indicating, to go and have some fun, the conflict will soon be replaced with harmony. It's kind of, um, it can be when you have people that just refuse to back down. Could be a compromise of, you know, like, let's agree to disagree. So there is a resolution in regards to this. Could certainly be friends, coworkers, your boss, family members. There's going to be that compromise there where, at least for the moment, maybe enjoying, you know, what your cards are representing. Maybe some kind of outing. Children are involved. And the adults that are going maybe are not getting along or having some kind of disagreement. Um, and, and they're just saying, okay, let's agree to disagree and move on for the sake of having a good time with the kids. So that's the scenario I'm picking up, at least one for some Geminis, but it is bringing in peace so that everyone can have a great time. So beautiful cards and energy this week. Enjoy yourself this week, Gemini. Take advantage of some of the things that you can only do in the summertime. All right, Gemini, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and like the video and visit my website if you'd like to continue with a private reading. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.